You can't show and you can't know the love of God unless you repent. I believe everybody says, oh, God loves everybody. But you know, you can't really know the love of God until you know His Son, Jesus Christ, the only true Lamb of God. The Lamb of God that you're going to is a fake. The Lamb of God that you're going to is a phony. Blasphemy. The, lo the Lamb of God that you're going to is blasphemy. That's right. So we're coming out here to point to you the only one true and living God and His Son, Jesus Christ. John the Baptist said, Behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. But you know what's going to happen to the Slayer fans? You know what's going to happen to the Anthrax fans? You know what's going to happen to the Lamb of God fans? You're going to go to hell. You're taking your wife there, sir? I'm taking my wife there. She's a fornicator and a sinner, too! She's gonna burn in hell, too! The fire's awake! Hell bound unless she repents! You need to repent, people. Hey, we're serious over here. That man's speaking the truth. We're serious. He's speaking the truth. Even, uh, even a, a dead wrong sinner can be right, just like a clock two times a day. Or a blind squirrel. But, yeah, a blind squirrel can get a nut every once in a while. Guess what? I'm serious, people. Unless you repent, you're going to go to hell. Hell! You know what the sound effects are in hell? Here's going to be your rock and roll music in hell. <laughs> But guess what? You deserve every second, every minute of hellfire. And if you fail to repent, you're going to get exactly what you deserve. Thank God I don't get what I deserve. Thank God that He helped me to repent and believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank God that He saved my soul. And He came into my heart and made me clean and pure. And I have no sin because the Lamb of God was placed on the cross of Calvary, died there between two thieves. Oh, wait, one of them got saved. One of them's in heaven with Jesus. You know what the thief on the right hand of Jesus said? Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus said, this day thou shalt be with me in paradise. Praise the Lord. That thief was a thief no more. There you go, sir. And you can be a fornicator no more. You can be an adulterer no more. Slayer! You can, you can be Slayer! a fornicator no more. Oh, God have mercy upon all the devil worshippers in this land. Did you know? Did you know that uh, you are a scourge to this country? You are, uh, you are a rotten scourge in this country. But praise be to God that God can cleanse you and make you holy, make you white as snow, and give you robes of righteousness. Yep. And you can walk with Jesus in white. That's right. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We come out here because we had a burden for the heavy metal rock bands. We went to the country music uh, singers last night. Oh, what was his name? Kenny Chestnut. No, wait. Kenny Ches Kenny Chesney. Yeah. So don't think we only go to heavy metal band rock concerts. Uh, we go to all of them. We're equal opportunity preachers. Guess Amen. what I was at earlier today? I went to the LGBT uh, uh, Drag Queen. children's reading. Where they were reading their bill to little children trying to pervert them. Friends and neighbors, countrymen, if you don't start loving God, you got hell to pay. Sir, I saw you spit at me. I saw you spit at me. God is going to judge you. The Bible says that God is angry with the wicked every day. God hates all workers of iniquity. That's right. You better get on God's good side. You better get right with God. God is going to judge you one day. The Bible says in 2 Thessalonians that when Jesus comes back, He's going to come back with flaming fire. 
And he's going to destroy all them that know not God and obey not the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's right. You only have a short little time. The Bible says in the book of James that your life is like a vapor. And how many vapes do we have over there? How many vapors do we have sucking on your little vapor? Every time that you take a puff, and that vapor goes out and it goes up and it disappears. Yep. That's your life. Just a short time. The Bible says in Romans 6, 23, for the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Don't you think that Jesus will judge your sin? And you know what? If He judges your sin, He's judging you sinners. You got a question? You're going to get the hell you deserve. What? We got a question here today. What's your question? Uh, she's asking, I've uh, asked the question, what exactly are we protesting? Well, you see, we're not exactly protesting anything in particular. We're just protesting sin. God hates sin. God loves judgment. The Bible says that the Father has given all judgment to the Son. That doesn't sound like God hates judgment to me. The devil hates the judgment. The Bible says in Hebrews 9.27 that, that uh, uh, it's appointed unto me and once to die after that judgment. Are yep. you ready for the judgment of God? Oh, you are. You think you are. You're what? Well, then you're really uh -oh. judged. Are you, you're an idol, idolater walking. You, idol, you idolize those little little uh, statues. You start kissing them and all that kind of stuff. You start bowing. You say, holy, uh, 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 what is that? Holy, uh, uh, Mother of God, blah, blah, blah. Holy, holy uh, yeah. You start praying the Hail Mary, right? Hail Mary, yeah. Doing the sign of the cross, which has nothing to do with the Bible. Nothing to do with it. And guess what? You're out here in the devil's concert. You know what? Even the Pope says, holy Lucifer. I believe the Pope is a devil worshiper, too. Is of the, the devil. devil. Yes, 
We got a lot of people that are of the devil tonight. They're wearing the devil shirt. They talk like the devil. They wild like the devil. They hold up for the devil. Yep. Guess what? They are of the devil. And guess what else? They're going to go to hell with the devil. Don't go to hell, sinner. Don't go to hell, sinners. God is pro incest. Cain banged his mom. Do what? Pro incest. Cain banged his mom. Cain, what? Cain's not God. Cain's not God. No. Read your Bible. Cain's not God. You don't even know how to read the Bible. Cain slew Abel, and the Bible says Cain went in the land of Nod and found a wife. Read your Bible, man. That's because your God is the devil. That's because your God is Satan. Turn to Jesus Christ. Turn to the holy God of the Bible. Lift up the Lord Jesus Christ to the lost and dying world. My video is working real good out here. Great. don't work in the radio station. It ain't work. Well, I ain't tried it in like three or four weeks. Good. I may have to try it again out there. I kind of gave up on it. Amen, amen. You people need to quit listening to that filthy heavy metal music and start reading your Bible. Start reading your Bible. You need to love and fear God. You need to obey His commands. The Bible says, the Bible says God hates a lot of people, don't you know? Oh, yes. Right here, there's a list right here in the Holy Scriptures. These six things that the Lord hates. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look. I've seen some proud looks out here tonight. God hates that. A lying tongue. We've heard lying tongues out here today. We've even heard blasphemy. God hates that too. And hands that shed innocent blood. Oh, yes. Hands that shed innocent blood. I bet there's some people in line out here that say abortion is okay. I bet there's some people in line out here that it may have even participated in slaughtering their own children. Oh, yes. The Lord hates hands that shed innocent blood. What else does the Lord hate? An heart that deviseth wicked imaginations. Hey, what's a good way that, that someone's heart could, that could uh, devise wicked imaginations? Hey, how about you write another Slayer album? How about you write some more Anthrax songs? That's a good way to uh, for your uh, for wicked imaginations. Yeah, God hates that. And feet that are swift and running to mischief. Oh, yes. I know how some of you people are. You, you can't wait to run to mischief. Oh, your little feet, when you know that there's violence, or you know there's wickedness, oh, your little feet can't take you there half fast enough. God hates your feet. Oh, yes. And a false witness that speaketh lies. And he that soweth discord among brethren. Oh, yes. There's a lot of things God hates. And the problem is there's too many people in this line out here today. They love what God hates. They love evil. They love wicked imaginations. Oh, yes. The Bible says that a good parent raises their, raises their children to love and fear God. They raise their children in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Oh, but there's so many parents in line today. They're bringing their children here that they could be poisoned. How many people are here to poison their children? There they are. There they are. Out here to poison their children's minds, poison their children's souls with anthrax. Yes, they're going to give their children a heaping dose of anthrax right in their mind, right in their soul, working that which is unseemly, wicked. Wicked parents. Some people, they're so cruel. They say, well, what's wrong with America? Well, I'll tell you what's wrong. It's people who love wickedness and people that have an IQ of one. Yes, there's 
there's a lot of people out here that have an IQ of one, apparently. Now, we've seen some. There's a little hope. Some people have an IQ of two. Yeah, there's some out here that I... I don't even see people with an IQ of four out here. But that's kind of low. If your IQ gets any lower, you need to sell. Oh, yes. You need to turn from the wicked ways of the devil and turn towards God. See, but since, since you apparently you people love good songs, I got a song that I wrote for all the sinners. Oh, yes. I look out for you people. I know you're out here, you're waiting to listen to music, so I got a song for you. And it, uh, it, it kind of goes with this up here, okay? So check this out. And you can clap along if you like. It goes like this. If you're a sinner and you know it, just repent. If you're a sinner and you know it, just repent. If you hate the Lord on high and you soon you're gonna die, you're a sinner and you know it, just repent. If you're a drunkard and you know it, just repent. If you're a drunkard and you know it, just repent. If you're staggering all around and wake up on the ground, you're a drunkard and you know it, just repent. If you're a pothead and you know it, just repent. If you're a pothead and you know it, just repent. If your eyes are nearly bleeding and your memory is fleeting, you're a pothead and you know it, just repent. If you're a stoner and you know it, just repent. If you're a stoner and you know it, just repent. If you're hitting on the bong and your IQ's nearly gone, you're a stoner and you know it, just repent. If you're a homo and you know it, just repent. If you're a homo and you know it, just repent. If you're a rank abomination and a scourge upon your nation, you're a homo and you know it, just repent. If you're a lesbo and you know it, just repent. If you're a lesbo and you know it, just repent. If you know you are a her, but they always call you sir, you're a lesbo and you know it, just repent. If you're a smoker and you know it, just repent. If you're a smoker and you know it, just repent. If you're sucking on a butt and nicotine's your butt, you're a smoker and you know it, just repent. If you're a feminist and you know it, just repent. If you're a feminist and you know it, just repent. If you hate the rule of men and you're childless in the end, you're a feminist and you know it, just repent. If you're a sinner and you know it, just repent. If you're a sinner and you know it, just repent. If you know you are hell bound and soon beneath the ground, you're a sinner and you know it, just repent. Oh yes, if you are a sinner today, you need to repent towards God. You need to be grieved towards God. You need to get on your knees. You need to weep and wail before the Lord God, your maker. You need to say, oh God, I hate the fact that I'm wicked. You need to say, oh God, I rebel against your holiness. You need to say, oh God, I know I deserve the burn. Oh, you need to put your faith in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, the one that died on the cross. The, the, the Lamb of God. God, that made the atoning sacrifice for your soul. He's the one you need to put your faith in. Praise God, praise God, he's made a way that even Slayer fans can be saved. Praise God, praise God, he's made even a way for the blasphemous Lamb of God fans they can be saved too. Praise the Lord. Oh, but if you die as a sinner, well, what kind of a sinner? Well, how about a parent that teaches their children wickedness? How about the parents that take their children to wicked heavy metal concerts? They're going to burn, burn, burn. Unless you obey the gospel, unless you believe on Jesus Christ, oh yes, a lot of parents, they're just going to smoke their way right into hell. You know what's going to happen then? They're going to smoke and the smoke and they're going to smoke. The Bible says that the smoke of your torment is going to rise up forever. Oh yes, outside of the holy New Jerusalem, the smoke of all the smokers and other sinners is going to rise up for all eternity. You're going to be in the flames. You're going to be in that brimstone blast at the fire, weeping and wailing and gashing your teeth because your 
on fire and it's never going to end because you're going to be in the flame and you know it's eternal torment because you're going to be in hell and you know you deserve it. You're going to be under God's judgment and you know you could have escaped. Oh yes, we didn't come out here with just the bad news, we came out here with the good news, the holy news, the best news there's ever been in the whole universe. You don't have to go to hell. You don't have to get the judgment you deserve. You can be born again, made a new creature in Christ, through repentance towards God and faith in the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God didn't throw you into hell the first time you sinned. Hallelujah. He's brought the gospel out here for you today. Hallelujah. None of you have to die and go to hell. And hallelujah when God cleans up this earth. When all the wicked are gone. Hallelujah. When this earth that is inhabited exclusively by his holy saints. Praise God. Praise God. You need to be one of his holy saints. You need to be born again. You need to be made a new creature in Christ. Praise God. You could be one. Praise God. He's going to judge the wicked. Praise God. You can be born again. Praise God. The wicked are going to burn. Praise God. You don't have to die today and go to hell. Praise God. You can be made a saint and welcomed into heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah for God for his justice and his mercy. Praise God. Praise God. Turn to him and live. Turn to the Lord and live. Turn from the ways of the devil. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death. Drinking your alcohol, it kills you, you know. It's the way of death. Smoking your cigarettes, it'll kill you, don't you know? It's the way of death. Smoking your methamphetamines, that's the way of death. It'll kill you. All your fornication, you can catch all your sexually transmitted diseases. How many STDs can you name, friends? You got your gonorrhea and chlamydia and crabs and human papilloma virus and herpes and AIDS and herpes simplex 10. Oh, yes, the ways of the old fornication is dead. Oh, but you don't have to get your wage. You don't have to get the wage you've earned. No! You can get all God's anger and wrath and swage from all over your life for your sin. And that's only through faith in Jesus Christ. That's only through repentance towards God for your sin. Praise God, you don't have to get what you deserve. You can get what you don't deserve. Hallelujah. You can get what you have not earned. Praise God. You can get God's forgiveness and justice. You can get his forgiveness and have his justice assuaged from over you. You can get his mercy and his pity. Oh, yes. But if you keep going on in your wickedness, showing your IQ of one or two, oh, yes, following the devil, the Bible says that he who sinneth is of the devil. Stop being of the devil. Start following Jesus Christ. Stop following the ways of sin. And start following God's ways of righteousness. Stop troubling your way to hell on the broad road of destruction and get on the narrow road that Jesus talked about, on the way of everlasting life. Put your wicked devil horns down, woman, and you need to bow your knee to the Lord. Put your heart down, you need to humble your heart. The problem is so many people are proud. Hey, they all do the exact same thing. It's like they're being controlled by somebody. They all have the same God. They all have the same mindset out here today. It's like they're little puppets being controlled by somebody. Hmm, who might that be? Who might be out here controlling all the minds of all these hundreds and thousands of people going in here today? I'll let you ponder that. I'll let you think about who might be controlling everybody's minds out here today for them to flip up their middle fingers and put up their little devil horns. Who might be your inspiration for all these people to do the same thing? Oh, yes, those are the people that are on the broad road that leads to destruction. There's many found on that road. That's what Jesus said. Oh, and then there's a narrow way that leads unto life. There's only a few found on it. And that seems pretty appropriate. There's only a few over here, and there's multitudes over there. Oh, but you don't have to be over there. You don't have to follow the devil into hell. You don't have to keep following your father, the devil. You could be born again, made a new creature in Christ. Hallelujah. You could get a new eternal destiny. Praise God. Praise God. You ready, bro? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. Hey, if you got to fear God, it's the wrong God, bro. Yeah, you need to fear God, dude. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom, you coward. Oh, that was original.
That, that, that was deep thoughts. I, I better stop preaching and ponder that for a while. That was really deep. Alright, alright, sinners. You know what a sinner is? Somebody that sins. You know what happens to sinners? The sinners go to hell. Can I take a picture of you guys? Sure, come on. Three pictures, man. Hey, look, Three pictures. Look, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm an atheist, but I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you right now. Look, I appreciate the fact that you believe what you believe. Right, man. I'm okay with that. Hey, we're, we're don't, real offend, believers. don't offend everybody else. We're not offending anybody. You're offending us by not believing in God, so stop it. Stop offending us by not believing in God. I don't think You're offending God. I think that's, you know, taking a lot of, of energy onto your own self that shouldn't belong. <laughs> what is that? Is that wrong? Right, guys, y'all take Do you care. say that's wrong? Y'all take care. I, I don't care. Do you say it's wrong to offend people, sir? I think offense is great. Okay. okay. Well, so you're going to get a lot of great offense on Judgment Day for all eternity in the flames. To offend is to make people think. Allowing thought allows free will. When are you going to start thinking? If you think your DNA swirled together in primordial soup, you haven't been thinking. I live my life outside of a book written by man who's dominated by money. So where do you get your beliefs from? Your own puny mind? Your own three-pound brain? Is that where you get your ideas from? That's not smart. Sure. Okay. The Bible says thou shalt not judge. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, it's liar. Liar. The Bible does not say that. What Bible do you follow? The King James Holy Bible. The perfect one. There's no translation in that sense. How does it not say that? It says thou shalt not judge to be judged. Prove it. Prove it, liar. Prove it. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. What you're trying to quote, you're incorrectly quoting, no, you're getting that's it wrong. First, that's I'm going to teach you. Just listen for a minute. No, no, no. no. Just listen, <laughs> listen for a minute. No, you don't. Know. That's not yes, in the Bible. Sir. Listen to the Bible. I was raised on the it's Bible. in the Matthew chapter. Well, you, you yes, didn't listen. Yes, that is what it says. No, it is. does not. I'll give, you a, I'll give you $50 right now if you show me the Bible verse that says exactly the way you said it. 50 bucks, baby. He's got it too. He's got it in his pocket. Right you get 50 bucks. Walk away. $50. Walk away because you know you're wrong. Because you don't know the Bible, sir. $50. The Bible does not say thou shalt not judge. That's not in the Bible. That's the devil. Now, Matthew 7 chapter that people think that is what that says does not say that. It says, judge not lest you be judged. With what judgment you judge will be needed back to you. That's what you're trying to quote, but that's not what that means. You go all the way through those first five verses that's talking about hypocritical judging. Uh oh. Jesus said, take the beam out of your eye so you can help take the, the moat out of your brother's eye. Yep. Jesus is talking about hypocritical judgment. If you're going to a Slayer concert, damn straight there. and you're telling other people not to go to a, a, a country music concert, then you're being a hypocrite. Give us some. Uh, We're not a hypocrite. Give us some. You're gonna burn in hell. Give us some of that. Watch our stuff. I don't have to tell you burn in hell. You already know that. You already burn in hell. Check, Check out my YouTube channel. You get plenty of it. <laughs> You'll get it. You'll get what you deserve. You'll get what you deserve. You'll get it. You'll get it. You know what you gotta do to go to hell? Nothing. Don't repent. You get to go to hell every time. You can go to hell all the time, every time. Everybody can go to hell if they want. All they got to do is nothing. Just keep sinning, fail to repent, fail to get right with God. It's almost like Jesus never said, get saved. Get saved. That's all you need to do. Oh, look at these loving people. The loving hypocrites. <laughs> Turn to Jesus. I'm good. The loving and hypocrites. Jesus said there's none born good. Of God. Liar. Find out who the real Lamb of God is. Turn to the Jesus, the Lamb of the real God. I like all these buses. They must be a thousand buses. Hard to here. It gives your voice a break. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I mean, there's not 10 buses in the city. There's like 100 buses, man. They all come by here every 15 or 30 minutes. And those are just the city buses. Uh -huh. Turn to Jesus Christ, Slayer fans. Turn to Jesus Christ, you anthrax fans. Now, what happens when you get anthrax? Does anybody know? You die. You start rotting. Your heart starts rotting on your body. Now, even an atheist can figure that out, right? 
He shrugs his shoulder. He doesn't know. <laughs> he doesn't know. I don't know. Anthrax will kill you. Why would anybody name their band Anthrax unless they have an ulterior motive? What is that on an ulterior motive? They want your money. They want to drain your brain of any smarts. They want you to go to hell with them. That's what Lamb of God and Anthrax and Slayer. Just what is it? What is the, th the three-headed monster? The, the, the tri... What's that? The, the tri-devil. The three parts of the devil here. Turn to Jesus Christ. Call upon the Lord Jesus Christ. You need to know the God of the Bible. The God of the Bible wants you. He wants you to be saved. You need to be saved. Only way you can be saved is through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ has the answer today. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man can come to the Father except by me. Jesus is the door to heaven, people. Jesus is the door. Are you going to knock on the door of Jesus today? No. Most of you are shaking your head. And many of you have stuck your middle finger up at us. You've rejected your only hope, people. Your only hope. There's no hope for anthrax, Lamb of God, and Slayer fans when they reject Jesus. Jesus is your only hope. I wonder if you knew you were dying in the next couple of minutes. Would you cry out for Jesus? Would you turn and believe on Jesus? Well, only a very few small percentage of people realize that their last few moments are coming. And very few people get that last opportunity to have what they call a deathbed repentance. So I wouldn't count on having the opportunity to have a deathbed repentance. So that's why I call you to repent today. The Bible says today is the day.